And here's some more examples. And again, these are all designed to illustrate a particular point. These deal with squares and negative numbers. You have to be careful when a variable is squared, and it can be tricky when the variable is negative or when it's subtracted. So in each case here, we're told that a is 4 and b is negative 3. And we'll see how this negative number here, or in a lot of cases, a negative sign in the problem, shows up along with a number being squared uh, when one of the numbers might be negative. Okay, the first one, a squared. Well, a is 4, so 4 squared. That's simply 16. That one's pretty easy. Now look at this, b squared. b is negative 3. So what we have here is b squared. That's the same as negative 3 squared. And it's as if the negative 3 were in the parentheses there. So negative 3 squared. And negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. Now this one, you have to think here, negative b squared. Well, b squared is negative 3 squared. So this is negative, negative 3 squared. That's a lot of negatives there, but that is exactly what this means. We have negative b squared. And notice what we have here, negative b squared. So now let's work that out. Well, the b squared gets done before we put the negative sign on. So negative 3 squared is positive 9, and then we have the negative of that. So we end up with negative 9 for our answer. But in this case, we have the negative b inside the parentheses, and that's what's squared. So b is negative 3, so we have negative, negative 3. So inside parentheses is a positive 3. It actually doesn't matter in this case whether the number is negative or positive inside the parentheses because when you square it, you always end up with a positive answer. But in this case, we have a 3 inside the parentheses squared, and we end up with a positive 9 for the answer a squared plus b squared. Well, a squared is 4 squared, so that's 16, plus the b squared. b is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is a positive 9, so that's 16 plus 9, which comes out to 25. And the last one, a squared minus b squared. So again, a squared is 4 squared, so that's 16. Then we have the minus, so I'll write that, minus b squared. b is negative 3, and negative 3 squared is positive 9, so I have 16 minus 9, which is 7. Now, some of those were tricky. When they're tricky, there's just no substitute for being careful and checking your work. So when you come across problems like that that involve a squared and a negative number or a, a negative number squared, in all of those cases it can be tricky to keep track of the negative signs. So work through them carefully, write out the intermediate steps if you need to before getting to your final answer, and check your work.